So here we are, just like that, the final episode of our Holly Bob's mini-series on South Africa. It's amazing. Behind me, the Cape of Good Hope. This time we take a trip along the spectacular cliff road to the Western Cape on the very southwestern tip of this African continent. It's a region of outstanding beauty with incredible wildlife set in a sequence of huge folded mountains. It's really breathtaking scenery and at this point the warm Indian Ocean is chilled by the cold Atlantic as it collides together along this spectacular coastline. Just a little further along the coast, some of the best views on this planet are found at the top of Cape Point that overlooks this drama of the sea. But it's quite a hike to get to the top, so we've opted for the easy way up. To enter the Cape Reserve and to enjoy this ride allow for just over £15 each. Guess what? We're literally oh, taking a particular to the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to what I call the end of the world, one of the most southwestern points in this African continent. To get closer to the Antarctic, you'd have to visit Argentina. This old lighthouse was built too high. Its head was often above the foggy clouds, so there are many wrecks that suffered the consequence below. Eventually, it was decommissioned after the Portuguese liner, the Lusitania, crashed under its guidance and so a new lighthouse was built lower down below the fog line. We are heading back to the Winelands and staying in Stellenbosch, a university town laced with street cafes in its Cape Dutch historic buildings which date back to the 18th century, making this the second oldest settlement to Cape Town. It's our last night, so we've pushed the boat out to stay in this lovely boutique hotel, the SW1 Lodge in Somerset West. And it's in the perfect position to visit a restaurant that rates number one on TripAdvisor here. This is Stephanie's, and wow, what a view. You have to book this place well in advance, as it's very popular with the locals, and you can see why. The menu is fab with steaks and fish, but I can't resist a good curry. Some sort of special lamb curry, some sort of secret recipe. She sold it so well, oh my god, the smell. So, the saddest thing is, it's our last night. I don't want to go. South Africa's just been so beautiful, so stunning, so fabulous. Wildlife is extraordinary. People are fantastic. And the food is really, really nice. And then the wine. <laughs> Cheers. Till next time. Goodbye. What a lovely place for our last night. If you missed our adventures, subscribe and come back and watch from episode one, where we ticked off the lovely Cape Grace Hotel in Cape Town. Look at that really flat mountain behind. Flat. That's totally flat, isn't it? Explored the delights of the VNA waterfront, where Maria suddenly became a cocktail expert. A classic mojito. Classic mojito, none of that fancy stuff. The strawberries and the peach and the raspberry and the shit. And we ventured by cable car to the top of Table Mountain. <laughs> In Camps Bay, we discovered some very large steaks. In episode two, I forced Maria to take a wine trap. Are you excited for this? No, you're not, are you? Well, I would say it's more creamy. Mm. It's a bit like medicine. Then watch episode 4 to discover the amazing coastline of Hermanas, where you can whale watch whilst eating the very best of seafood platters. Oh, and I went looking for a long lost friend. That's him, in the black and white. Then we meet up with the big five on a safari trip that's just a two hour drive from Cape Town. We hope you've enjoyed this mini-series as much as we enjoyed making it. Please subscribe as there's plenty more to come. <laughs>